Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you. That was a bit over the top. Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you for tuning in. Now, if you're anything like me, I feel really sorry for you. My sympathies. Then you're probably constantly wondering what sounds best, a physically modelled software piano or a sample library. Well, in today's video, we are going to find out once and for all. So, representing the physically modelled software pianos, we have Piano Tech, and I'll play you two instruments, the Steinway and the Petrov Grand Piano. And representing the mighty sample libraries, we have two instruments from Native Instruments, one is called the Grandeur, the other one is called Alicia's Keys. Just in case you don't know what physically... I can't even say it. Just in case you don't know what physically modelled means, it's when you use mathematical algorithms to calculate the sound of the piano in real time. So you're simulating the sound of the hammers, the hammers striking the strings, and the strings vibrating and interacting with the other strings, and the resonance effects of the internals of the piano, the soundboard and the wood, the acoustics of the room, the positions of the microphones and all that kind of thing. Whereas on the other hand, a sample library is these days usually several gigabytes of real recordings, little snippets of someone playing the keys on a real grand piano at various velocities up and down the range of the keyboard. So that's the two major technologies we have in our software pianos today. And sometimes, of course, you'll have slight combinations of the two as well. But today we'll be looking at a purely physically modelled piano and a purely sampled piano. For Piano Tech, we will listen to the Steinway Model D, which comes bundled with every version of Piano Tech. This is endorsed and improved by Steinway, so presumably it's pretty good. And we'll also compare that with one of their add-ons, the very latest add-on, which is a recreation and emulation of the Petrov Concert Grand 275. And representing the sampled instruments then, we will use Alicia's Keys, which is a sample of a Yamaha Neo something grand piano actually owned and played by Alicia Keys herself. And then we'll also, this is interesting, compare a Steinway sample library by Native Instruments. I do believe the Grandeur, as it's called, is a sample library of the Steinway Model D, the same as the Piano Tech, so we can compare those two directly against each other. A lot of talking, I know, but we'll cut to the chase in a second. I just want to tell you how I did the comparison. I am using a MIDI file that was specifically composed by Purgatory Creek a long time ago to really test out digital pianos. It uses a lot of sustained passages, uses the whole range of the keyboard from the bass notes all the way up to the top, a lot of polyphony at the same time, and a sustain pedal going on and off as well to really test out how well the digital pianos perform. I'll play the MIDI file through every single piano and for each piano I've switched off all of the effects so that you're not really comparing the effects of the piano. I want you to hear the raw sound of each piano today. That's what interests me and I think it'll interest you as well. So I've switched off any reverb, compression, EQ on each and every piano. And the only external effects I'm adding is a peak limiter just to avoid clipping but I can assure you that it is hardly kicking in it's just tickling some of the very very highest peaks and it's a very transparent limiter it's waves L2 so that's not having an effect on the sound I can assure you and then I've volume normalized every single piano so they are the same perceived volume and just in case you're curious I've set the volume to minus 14 loudness units full scale minus 14 luffs Yes, there's some uh, technical stuff there. Personally, I find it really difficult to pick a favourite. I find myself constantly switching backwards and forwards between piano tech and native instruments whenever I make a new video. So hopefully you can help me here. Listen very carefully to these four instruments and pick your two favourites and let me know in the comments. So pick two, eliminate two, let me know, and then the two winning pianos will go to the next round. The next round, I hear you ask? Yes, what we'll do then is put the two winners up against my Yamaha Modi X, which I remember I should have got out and put here now, but never mind. The Yamaha Modi X has Yamaha's flagship CFX Concert Grand 
piano library on board plus i've downloaded or i will do i'll download and install the bosendorfer bosendorfer easy for you to say sample library that you can download and install as a free add-on so the two winners here will compare against the two very finest pianos available today on a synthesizer apart from perhaps the chronos but i've never tried one okay you're completely sick of listening and watching me now here are the four pianos <laughs>
Okay, remember to vote for your two favourites in the comments. I'll add up the votes and then the winners will go on to battle with the mighty Yamaha Modi X. The same sounds, incidentally, are used on the montage and this is the very finest that Yamaha have to offer. I think it's the same sample libraries you can find in their high-end digital pianos. I do hope that you enjoyed listening to that rather nice piece of music and that you got some value out from the video as well. It's super important if you are choosing a software piano to understand the differences between physically modelled and sample libraries, the pros and cons of each, and now you've heard them all in pristine quality. So you're in a better position to make a well-informed decision before you purchase anything. I will make high quality mp3 files available as a free download over on my website woodypianoshack.com so check that out if you want to listen again. In the meantime, thank you ever so much for watching, subscribing, liking. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.